Hi everybody, welcome back to Vintage Storage, episode 32, I believe. Let me just double check that one. Yeah, episode 32. And uh, yeah, we're stood out here. It's early morning. It is about quarter to five. And uh, today we're going on a little, I'll use the word road trip. It's probably not appropriate. Everything is growing in there. There's a lot of weeds, but that's fine. I don't know how soon I'm going to have to turn around and come back because I am fairly certain that there is a temporal storm imminent at some point. Um, the experiment we were doing, where can these spread onto co onto the cobblestone or do they need grass or farmland was a success. We've spread, spread them there. What we don't know is whether pumpkins can grow in there and I'm not sure whether got enough down there or not but today we are taking the fight to the wolves uh, there's quite a lot of wolves in the area um, or there has been and I've got a fair amount of food on me I've got um, three servings of red meat stew with turnip I've got some bread a little bit more bread I've got a bowl I, I am well equipped on that respect uh, this field here is just growing I am fairly certain these turnips are all dying back now um, so that's a thing and this flax is almost ripe so hopefully by the time we get back it will be but what I want to do today is I want to come on the map oops hello no let me try this again I'd like to try and just head up here where there were some chickens uh, because my arrow supply is a little bit poor and having the opportunity to go up hunt down a few chickens I, I realize I probably want to try and figure out how to catch chickens um, and obviously chickens are not sheep or pigs i can't give them a love tap and get them to chase me so but the weather is absolutely gorgeous it's a proper lovely spring day as uh, as i know spring days anyway definitely more spring i would like the visibility to improve somewhat i'm also going to continue picking up a few bits and pieces as we go um but I'm going to let my newfound confidence, which may not be a good idea, but you know, um, lead me on an adventure. And hopefully, it will not prove to be a mistake. Now, as I say, the visibility is leaving a lot to be desired. So, uh, so that's a thing, but there's definitely a wolf. That was a, a wolfy howl and it sounded like it came off from this direction. See? See what a little bit of armour will do to you. Mm -hmm. There. Hello. Mr. Wolf. Where are you? I would like to turn you into a... That was definitely over this direction. But where? And the visibility is terrible. 
подожди. There's the wagon. Oh, how the tables have turned, eh? Assuming, of course, I can actually find... The wolf. I mean, he sounded like it was over that direction. There he is. Oh, no, you don't. Come on. I bet actually they might, he might try and lure me into another wolf. Where's he gone? Damage tier two. Thank you. Oh, a bit of fat on him, that's handy. Right, now, one down. More to go, I think. But we're closer to the outside now, so we might as well take advantage. I'll, I'll let you live. Not because I don't want to eat you, because I do. Oh, here we go. All right. I, you know what? I knew it was going to happen. Um, this temporal storm is approaching. It's not imminent. So let's just have a little peek around out here for the uh, chucks. Well, we can, and then I'll head back. It's first law of sod, isn't it? It's, it basically goes, yep, yeah, right, you've made plans. I am going to scupper them. Sheep. No, oh, the sheep. Lots of sheepage. I'm not seeing the chucks in the area. They're probably a bit further down, and I don't really want to get much further away. When there's a temporal storm on the route, let's because of course now we get to put our um, new temporal storm shelter to the test. But that does involve me heading right back through the middle of this lot. All right, I'll see you when I get there. All right, while we're waiting for the temporal storm, we'll cook up the, the uh, wolf meat because I might as well. And uh, just wait for this. This thing, this fun, this entertainment, this wonderful thing that we are waiting for to appear. I'm just thinking about the um, pumpkins now. Pumpkins have become a bit of a fixation for me in this game because of, you know, the way, the strange way they grow. And I'm wondering, rather than um, cobblestone, whether sand might be a better base to grow them onto. It'd be easier to obtain. Well, it's not easy to obtain. I mean, cobblestone is easy to obtain. We just have to go and grab it from the ruins. But um, it would be relatively easy to obtain, shall we say. And it might not look quite so odd when you look at the the spread and the on the minimap. Because looking at the minimap... Um, we're going to have quite an expansive cobblestone down here if I have that kind of layout for the uh, the thing. I think I might need a little bit more wood in there. Let's just not take any chances. It's still oh, it's a medium. Okay, that should be entertaining. Um, 
But at least I've got my run options now, <laughs> which is all good. Right, let's get the last one cooked. And at least then I'm sorted. And uh, I think I've probably got a few hours until it's here, but as long as I don't want to be miles away from home in the middle of a temple storm, and then I know I've got a full 10 days where I can go out and explore. So, yeah, that's the thing. Is it? If inventory space wasn't such an issue, uh, then I would probably be contemplating carrying some slabs with me because there is two viable, very viable solutions actually to temporal storms, which I've I've. Uh, which one we we're using up here uh, and the other is of course I've used when we had the ice and uh, and everything failed got caught out off guard and I had to run around like an idiot ah so they do just spread into the grass they destroy that that is interesting mm -hmm. growing pumpkin vine mature pumpkin vine well, we'll see what they do. Um, let's get my rope ladder ready. Because I am going to need to get up there in a hurry. If I am not careful. Uh, got to try and figure out how to... And there. Perfect. We are ready for whatever the temporal... Oh, hello. Where did you come from? We're ready for whatever the temporal storm throws at us. Ish. For a given value of ready, perhaps. Oh, some flint down there. Go and grab it. While we're passing the time. So, yeah, I will see you when we need to get into the... Uh, into the storm shelter. I mean, actually, uh, that is actually the right word, isn't it? It is a storm shelter. I mean, it's a temporal storm shelter, which definitely sounds a bit cooler than just an ordinary storm shelter, but there you go. Yep, back in a bit. All right, there's the imminent sign. Uh, I have just dug up a little bit of, um, of gravel, muddy gravel from the thing, and put there from the water and put it in where those 11 cobblestones were so with a bit of luck that will work as well i'm not sure whether muddy gravel stays muddy whether it dries into dirt you know i mean logic dictates that it dries and becomes dirt um but logic doesn't always see a, I think it could remain muddy gravel forever uh, and in terms of the oh, it's not journey map it is map in terms of the the blocks it looks more browny colored so oh here we go <laughs> medium temporal storm incoming I hear ya. Oh, man. These are trippy. <laughs> Still, got nothing better to do than city town. I, uh, I may just try and, uh, Let's get a. I think that will do. Yeah. Uh, if we're if we're thinking about names for a uh, episode, first storm of the year would seem to be uh, a fairly good one. I did dig out a little bit more of my dive off point as well. So 
we've got that going for us, but they are definitely, it's definitely working. So I'm going to sit here for the next, God knows how many minutes, and I do appear to have made my nose bleed. Wonderful. Um, I'll be back in a moment. And it is over. And it looks, I don't know why I'm trying to crouch. It looks, so A, I'm doing it with the wrong button. Where are they? They're all there, look. All right, that's... That seemed to be the magic number now. Stupid question. Do we think it's even going to be possible to even get close to these guys? Yeah, they're fighting amongst themselves. This is your problem. Hey, ow, ow. Yeah, I think we just leave them. Leave them to their business. Let's just go about ours. We'll, uh, we'll come up with a way of executing them late. I mean, um, harvey, farming, killing, you know, just generally getting rid of them later on I think in the meantime we can throw those in there uh, get the right key combo that's all good we're uh, we're still okay we got three servings of food and some bread so we should be okay for the us to go back out and attempt to do a little bit of um, hunting but right now what time is it it's 10 o'clock at night so let's uh, get up about four ish <laughs> go back out do some uh, do some exploration I won't wake up. Uh, okay. Did not make four o'clock. My alarm didn't go off, and that's the excuse I am sticking to. Right. Still got plenty of left of that. Shall we go and see if they have actually despawned yet, or whether they're still in? I want to go and have a look at my um, pumpkin experiment as well a little bit. Because if this stuff, if this wet gravel actually does work as a yeah they're still there nope nope I think there only appears to be oh no there's quite a few left okay haven't got an easy way of handling those so we're going to take the easiest way of handling them which is will not <laughs> And we'll come back to that one later. I need to, I mean, arrows would obviously be, yep. So that answers that question. This is still muddy. That's fine. This is a blooming pumpkin vine. So in theory, either side of this could go. But this might be the answer to getting a, a surface which we can work with. Do you know what I didn't get? Uh, just in case I do want to stay out overnight I need a bed that would be a really good idea okay I'm gonna do that we'll get that together and I will see you out at the other side of the um, the forest and let's go and find myself some chickens I need feathers I need a lot of feathers 
So, yeah, let's do that. This must be getting close. It is. Those are almost withered away. That's a pretty close. We must be getting close to baby goats as well. Sheep, sorry. I keep wanting to call them goats. I don't know why. I know why I want to call them goats. They just remind me of goats more. It's them big, big horns. Sheep. The domestic sheep round where, where I grew up on the farm are very, very less horny. That sounded wrong, but you know what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> um, all right, I'll see you in a minute. So the chucks were over this way. Um, this is all still claystone land, so going into the caves whilst entertaining. And I use that word loosely. <laughs> entertaining for you guys, probably. Not so entertaining for poor old sucker here who's the one running away from everything that's trying to eat his face. Um, and I realise, you know, I am, obviously I'm out here. Chuck. Chuck, chuck, chuck. Here, yeah, chucking. This is why I want more arrows, because obviously they make hunting very easy. Obviously I can cut the meat as well. Did not get much meat off him, but got plenty of feathers, so... That boded well. Right, there were some more chucks around over this way. I yeah, chuck chuck. Hmm. Did you try and attack me? Well, that was... On the dumb side, it's got to be said. I think we've probably got enough feathers there. Let me just double check what the... Oh uh, no, I want to, want to have a look at those. And, uh, and they are used to make arrows and it is one for one. So I'll get like 43, which is not bad. Now the question is, do I want to go with flint arrows, which seem to do the work fairly well? If I'm honest, or do I want to be a little bit more of a show off and show off more, more things? I think I'm going to go with the flint, the, the copper, there's another chuck there, look, another rooster. Do I, do I go for it? I think I should while I'm out here. You made me lose. Tough chicken. Where did that arrow go? There it is. Right. 
I keep forgetting that I could breathe underwater because I am apparently some miracle breathing underwater creature rather than a human. Right. 52 feathers. Any more chucks about? Or do I sit down and start making arrowheads? I don't think I've really been over this way, you know. Definitely need to... How much chicken meat have I got? Four. It's enough to make... How long are you fresh for? One and a half day. Really? You don't stay fresh outside of a... I mean, I thought Tesco had some uh, issues with with its product going out of date quickly, but... Well, there we go. We'll have you... We'll have any seeds we can get while we're here, because that would be sensible, and I'll just eat those raw. And then we can... I think we should be able to, on future trips out, actually be able to get by with far more foraging as, as the year gets further in the the crops and the forage will be considerably better and as if you recall um the last summer you know we could go out for almost for days at a time um without any significant issues and again grab the seeds because we're probably not going to come out this way again for a while or maybe we will who knows hunting from here is going to be awkward though and this is still clay sort of clay stone isn't it yeah i think we just need to try and find a different main stone up i'm wondering whether this was actually the best sport oh hello um Fairly certain one went this way it did. Come here, chicken. Get the right. Oh, you. This is not. Where'd he go? Right. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, I've completely forgotten. But this is my chicken. There are many chickens like it. But this one is mine. Right. Let's... Um, take stock of where we are on the map. I am here. I have not actually been heavily up this way so let's continue it's not like we can't we will be able to set a fire down for ourselves you know do a little bit of i'll probably do craft i'll set myself up for the night somewhere and i'll craft my um arrow heads and arrows overnight i think that would kind of be sensible um and obviously we can cook up our chicken and uh ooh, hello don't mind if i do and uh yeah the world oh interesting oh hello you want me mate you're gonna have to come and get me Yeah, they're not quite so terrifying, are they, when they, uh, when they don't hit like trucks? Is that water, though? No, I don't think it is. Does not... 
not sure how big a cave this is. We'll uh, we'll leave that. Um, but having maybe we can come to where are we? Center on me. Uh, we'll give it a. We got a cave. That looks like a cave, doesn't it? I think. Yeah. Oops. Looks like a good cave, I should say. So. We'll pop it on the list like that. And then we'll continue having a little look around. It's just nice to get away from the the base. You can you can have too much base time. Um and obviously in a game where where the seasons are so important. then uh, you know we are going to have extended periods stuck at you know, the home winter winter for our distant brethren in the past was probably not a fun time at all <laughs> um, very lean I think they're, they're preparing for the lean months and, and all those good phrases but yeah I just need to find myself somewhere no, wow, there's just so much stuff to be had. Mature flax again. We're going to munch the, we'll munch the grain. It's, all of this is going to be invaluable going forward. So what we need to do is work out what we're going to do, where we're going to go, and how I am going to exploit. Oh, this looks interesting. Again, the problem we're going to have is limitations of... Oh, hello, turnips. Food just became less of an issue. I haven't got a cooking pot on me, of course, but... Um, hmm, what are you? You are an ore vessel. You're a rabbit, okay. I thought you I thought well, that's a very odd looking vessel. And you are an ore vessel as well. Interesting. Right, well, there's a simple simple solution. What we'll do is we will set ourselves up with a I'll, I'll use the pick is. It's gonna be more efficient. It's not obviously the best use of our tools you know this is gonna when I could break by hand then I should probably break by hand but when you're in a hurry wow this oh hello oh hello right um Forage and forage. Wow, that um, actually turned out to be quite a find. I wonder what, whether there's anything under that one as well. We'll have to have a good look. But what I was thinking was if I just want a little um, hunter's lodge, if you like, then there's... Yeah, it's not the best... spot to overhang but you know that'll do we can block off that I think that gives us a, a reasonable space. Ah, yeah, that's going to be an issue though, isn't it? Um, hmm. Well, let's have a little window out just so we can see there. And we'll have a little window out here and that'll get rid of a bit of 
that. Um, that can fill in there, all of that can go in there. You can all go over here and bagger off for now. No, that was bugger off for now. Hmm, could have done with a saw though, couldn't I? Uh, what about a purr? basket? Basket might work. Hand basket is just those, or papyrus, which we haven't got. But we are near the water, so I should be able to make a, a quick basket to put things in. I think that works that way, I can't remember. It's a while since I've used one as storage. Because I can always mark it as a... Well, I mean, I, I use the word jokingly as a hunting lodge, but... Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything fancy to be a hunting lodge, now does it? Just has to uh, work. Now, how many... Uh, Two, four, six, eight, ten. One more. One, two, da 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 da. And uh, I'm gonna need some of you as well. And I need to chop down a tree, don't I? Definitely need to chop down a tree. Just... Yeah, apparently I shouldn't have chopped down those trees with a resin, by the way. So, uh, that's something to bear in mind next time I see it. But for now, I need some wood. need to cook some food there is a forest those two, two there we go uh, probably does that oh okay that was not what I needed I could have sworn you could put stuff in those. It's not a basket, is it? It's not a hand basket, it's a... A reed basket, which is... Oh, man. All right, there was. I was stupid uh, and made a mistake. Okay, how do I rectify this? I don't think it's going to be very easy, given the amount of reeds left in the area but we'll give it a try so I need 24 oh I might be able to recycle it that's probably a thing <clears throat> we'll give it a try that would definitely help if I could get those um, 10 back copper We're not a million miles away from actually home, from home. I, you know, had I think had that temporal storm struck while we were here, I, I would have still been okay to get back. Because it did take about eight hours from that notification. Uh huh. Twelve anymore? Let's go and grab this bit over here. Oh god, and there's more. More flax. Uh, we'll leave that for a moment, because I've got nowhere to put it anyway. Um, yeah, it really is nice just to get away from the home base and 
just get out there again. It really, I, I, I'm genuinely happy. <laughs> just doing something. 22, 23, 24. Perfect. Right. Moon's up. Let's go and get back in our little hidey hole. Um, so I need to do that, don't I? And place you down there. And then you can have all of the seeds. You can have the bones. What I want is a couple of bits of dirt for that. Pop you on the wall. Uh, logs. Logs into firewood. Definitely going to want that. Well, again, we'll stick the Quick pop down and then I need to do a little bit of you. Uh, need to get those going in there and light it. Probably going to want a little bit more burnables than that. Can you be de deconstructed? You actually can't be deconstructed. Interesting. Well, we'll use it as fuel then. I'll check how long I've been recording. I'll see you in the morning. All right, it's the morning. I have made myself. I have now got actually more arrows than I need. So I'm going to have to use four of those or leave some behind. Uh, I do need to bring you with me just because that's pretty vital. Don't need to bring you with me. Um, I do need a couple of sticks just to finish up the last couple of arrows. <clears throat> I, I managed to get almost a perfect amount of uh, of feathers, they were exactly a uh, power of two, so that was a very odd coincidence. There, oh, come on, there must be there's all these trees around. If there's not at least a, a stick, oh, hello, a stick in the area, uh, there's definitely some fully grown turnips, though. We'll have them, I think. The seeds are valuable, but the stupid bunny. But what I really would like, just just a couple of sticks. One. Oh, hello. More parsnips, okay. Right, I just need one, one sticky leaf. Come on, there you go. I'm completely out of sticks now, of course. And for some reason, I inadvertently, well, I didn't, I, I cocked up and made a spearhead and I don't want a spearhead, so. Rabbits everywhere in this place. Right, what we got? All vessel, what we got in here? Brown coal. Okay, I'm gonna. I will pick up that. Um, this. Black coal. Okay. Um, not so much ore as you know. Stuff. Hello. Right. We might as well grab you. While I'm at it. And I'm going to, I'm going to have a quick fertile around this settlement, see what we've got in the way of blocks and also things, because these, 
these are valuable um, as, as as all of all valuable things go you know they're, they're something which we can utilize so we should grab as much of this as possible and then we'll check the other forage uh, containers um, and then we'll probably call this episode an episode you know because obviously it will be an episode um, and I may push on from here I might leave mark this as a let's like say on the map as a kind of a lodge stopover point and then we can come back grab those seeds if we take the well I'll work out what on earth I'm taking with me to start off with but definitely taking all of this good stuff like these um, bone, bone blocks because I've actually had that um, that's the word I'm looking for the bone block that I the bone blocks that I sifted before did not did not come up short when it came to um, delivering the goods they definitely gave me the uh, the bronze which I needed to make the well various bronze bits you know as you'd ex what we what was in there filled B Nate oh wow impacts spawns okay that is not bizarre at all and what are you Granite cobble, oh, maybe you're not granite cobble, hang on. Granite stone, okay. Now there's a big question mark is, do I want to grab all of these rocks? I suppose I should. Do I want to use that then? Speed me up a bit. Beanade sounds like it could be fun. Could be interesting for clearing out the um, the what's it were the hoof of the the trench after a temporal storm. Oh well, let me uh, grab some more of this and. Oh, hello. We're full. Uh, oh, bismuth. Really? This is painful. Let's just do that. And then we'll leave ourselves a few blocks in there as well. Yeah, so, as we stand, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We have got a lot of stuff. We've got way more inventory stuff than we can carry, which is not ideal. Uh, we can drop off you, you, you and you. They will go in there and we can probably drop off that. But it's a matter of then what we want to take back with us. Because we've only got so many slots. Now we're going to eat that. We will probably eat that bread before we head back. So this is not end of the world stuff. Especially not once I place you two down. Doors are easy to dig up. Because <laughs> that's how I'm thinking of it. That's my door. Ripen in four days. It's going to take a while for that one. I did. It wasn't over here, wasn't it? There was some flax. So I think what I want to do is explore a little bit further out. With this kind of direction, there's definitely something there. I'm not seeing any waggony folks over there, but you know, let's let's take advantage of the opportunity to get out there oh hello there you go that's well that really wasn't a lot of what i was looking for but it'll do and uh and then when we come back this way
Can't see any other obvious croppage patches. Then we can pick up what we want to take back with us. It'll probably be seeds, to be honest. Although that bit, you see, there's not enough of that to make it worthwhile. So, on the one hand, it's handy. On the other, it's utterly useless. Which is interesting, to say the least. Now that, we can just leave out here. Pick that up when we come back. We'll jump onto the map, centre on me, or we'll go there, and we're going to put a lodge. I know that's a very grand term for it, but um, it'll do. We'll put a little house there, and we are going to put you in uh, red. Safe. There we go. Right, well, until next time, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, we will ultimately do some caving. Uh, I do definitely want to get into the caving, but I don't want to do the caving in an area which is largely not going to work very well just because it's the wrong, you know, stone types. We know the tin forms in, oh hello, forms in slate and granite I think and some of the other, there's a few other stones. Uh, right, well have you got, have you got a secret hidey hole thing? Sorry, I'm just getting easy. I'm so easily distracted, especially when there's there's a possibility of treasure. And this definitely says that there should be some treasure around here. Give me a trip. Better be some treasure. Doesn't look like there is any that way. No, nope, it's it's disappointing so far. Hmm. You know, it's been a tight wad. Yeah, well, we will. Oh, hello. That kind of got me excited and then let me down. from. Ow. That's some fair old knockback he's got on him. Oh, they're coming from up there. Okay. Well, Never a dull moment. <laughs> right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was trying to find out what was in here. Before I was so rudely interrupted. This is a bigger structure than uh, it's making out to be, isn't it? I do like it when you find things that, you know, do strange stuff this is like almost like there's a I want to say a story here but there's definitely a history I just can't figure out what's going on with this
weird. It's almost like it's the foundation of an area that's ruined and filled in. But there's no obvious... element to it. It's, you know, it's not... Hmm. I'm not going to waste any more time on that. Um, it's quite a sizable little structure down there. Anyway, yes, let's get back to the job at hand. I will continue exploring next episode and we'll, uh, we'll continue at that point. Uh, until then, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon. Bye for now. Thank you.